Well, we're joined now by two, uh, well, gun forwards for the West Coast Eagles who haven't seen a lot of footy this year. Welcome to Josh Kennedy and Mark Nikoski. How are your injuries going? I'll start with you, Josh. How's it uh, faring up? Yeah, it's all tracking along all right. Um, I've just started jogging, basically, the last few days, so uh, everything's going to plan, so probably another seven, eight weeks off. What actually was it? Because I read uh, back in the day they said it was uh, it had instability in it. Yeah. What did you actually do to it? Uh, it's called syndesmosis, which is where your ankle bone actually jams up into your two leg bones and splits them apart. So there's a membrane that holds the two legs together, obviously. Uh, leg Great game together. footy, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I just split that. So I had to get a screw to bring that back together. And, um, yeah, it's been on the men since then. And, Mark, how are you tracking? Yeah, going well. Um, probably about six weeks into a running program now and starting to get some good strength and speed back into, into my legs and into my hamstrings. So it's, it's tracking along how it should be. What about today, boys? The second quarter, what do you, what do you think would be happening in the rooms after that uh, second quarter with Johnny Walsfold? Oh, I can't imagine he'd be too happy about that second quarter. Um, I think we're probably a little bit off. Uh, we started really well and, and then I think Gold Coast just probably worked a little bit harder. Um, and that sh it, it showed on the field, it didn't show on the scoreboard for them. We just but saw your hamstring then, sorry, didn't we? We just saw your hamstring then. What, um, have you had advice from other people who have done a hamstring? Like Matty Lloyd, I know, was one person who's had that in the yeah, past. Yeah, you, you mentioned that to me before. I, uh, I haven't gotten in touch with him, but I've spoken a fair bit to Daniel Kerr. He did his a few years ago. Um, do a fair bit of research on my own, to be honest with you. I'm always, oh, right. I'm yeah. always asking questions. Did they inject it with any weird sort of stuff? I've heard of that happening as well. Um, not that I uh, can recall unless they did it when I was under anesthetic. But, um, <laughs> yeah, no, it, it, it's coming along well. And the people that I've sort of spent most of my time with has been our rehab physiotherapist and, and um, asked him most of the questions that I got. Well, you'd love to see your team doing well, but you'd almost have a, <laughs> a sneaking suspicion you'd like them just to come a little bit off the pace because they've got a couple of replacements. Hill's done very well in your you two, your absence. Jack Darling's lifted. Haven't got a lot of footy out of you two this year, or Mark McRae. Your three leading goal kickers, you two being uh, two of the three from last year, not there. Five games from you, Josh. You could, you're the only one who got to the table for it. Yeah, I know. I don't think we'll get a game when we come yeah, back. You're flying the flag <laughs> for the up. three of us there. Yeah. So just repeat for us again. Start with you, Josh. Yep. How long do you see yourself before you're in AFL? AFL, uh, probably about seven weeks from playing. So I'd say probably a couple with East Romano, and then hopefully we get back up. And Mark? I'll go six weeks then uh, just to beat Josh back and, and get a couple in and, and uh, be ready for the right time of the year, hopefully. Well, well done, mate. You both... Uh, well, last year you had a sensational season yeah. last year. You both really... I have to, just before we go to the break, tell us about the kicking action. Does it just feel natural to you to take those little... <laughs> it does feel oh, natural, true. yeah. It All does. Right. It's working, mate. It's so weird. Don't change it. <laughs> Josh Kennedy and Mark Nikoski here at Patterson Stadium. It is the West Coast Eagles by 39 points.